Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure accessory review. Today, we're going to be looking at the MRG Toys third party custom 3D printed and painted The Suicide Squad Peacemaker Belt with Magazines, Peacemaker Desert Eagle with Silencer, two Bloodsport pistols, Bloodsport's single shooter, and then Bloodsport's nanotech gun that giant gun from the end of the film when he fought Starro. I ordered these things months ago. I'd almost forgotten about them, and they're finally here. Seems that they're a little bit later than expected. Now, I was really excited when they first got announced. It was right around the time the Suicide Squad came out. A lot of fun, a lot of hype. And here it is, several months later. Hype's died down. Not quite as excited as I once was, but still really excited to finally check these things out. Now, my main concerns were... Are these going to be brittle? Will they possibly break? How good are they going to look? So, in this video, we'll take a look at all of that. We'll see how it fits. We'll address every single concern I had. Hope you guys enjoy. This guy was found on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. Now let's see how we got to this point. Now I did want to show how this thing came in, in case anyone is curious. It's in a pink bubble envelope. Other side, simply got address and stuff. Once taken out of the envelope, here's how it looks. Now, one of my biggest reservations about this thing was the price, $70. At first, I was like, oh, hell no. But after a few days, pondering it, I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do it. It's gonna really enhance these figures. Now, there was an option for an unpainted version. That would've been cheaper, but honestly, who knows if or when I'd ever get around to painting these things. Bubble wrap outside, presumably my order number. So far, it's looking great. So here's everything out of the package. It looks really good. We have two single shooters for Bloodsport, and they have removable pieces. Then we have this large nanotech gun. It also has removable pieces, and the smaller pistol version of it. Then for Peacemaker, we have this Desert Eagle. We've got his belt and holster, a little pouch for his silencer that attaches to his holster, and of course a silencer which will attach to the Desert Eagle. In this video, we're going to take a look at each of the accessories, first by Bloodsport, then with Peacemaker. We're going to show how great the multiverse figures are with these added accessories. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers has this policy no officially licensed DC figures are allowed to come with guns in any way, shape, or form. That includes sci-fi guns, like his nanotech weapon. And that is incredibly stupid, but it's the world we live in right now. If I had to choose between getting Peacemaker and Bloodsport with no guns, or not getting the figures at all, I would definitely pick to get them with no guns. So let's start off with Bloodsport's accessories. Here are Bloodsport's accessories. Everything looks good, but not everything came in good. I did ask, was anything going to be brittle? Was it going to break? I wouldn't exactly describe these as brittle, but there are some pieces that have been put together and then mailed to you. This goddamn thing came broken. Now, these pieces were not attached. You can see they were made separately and then, I guess, glued together with some sort of peg between the two of them. Mine broke. I'll be able to glue them back and it's going to stay just fine, I'm sure. But it's pretty damn annoying. Expensive ass accessory comes in this way. Come on. So I went ahead and glued his nanotech gun together. It's a very heavy piece. Now, it looks nice. It's very flush. You can see there's a little bit of paint difference between this piece and this piece, but that has nothing to do with the breakage. That's how it would have looked either way. Now, it came very flush together. A very clean break. I put a shit ton of glue in there. I don't want to deal with it breaking again. And overall, this thing looks amazing. The sculpting is excellent. You just see all the little notches. It looks really, really good. Mine's got a little bit of yellow on the top there. I don't think it's supposed to. Beyond that, paint is pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect. I think these were hand painted. But I'll tell you, even with the breakage, this thing looks fantastic. I'm very pleased. But still, annoyed that I had to glue it together. But look at that sculpt. This is that giant gun from the end of the film. 
it does have this spinny piece this is going to be the front you can take it, you can attach it to the front of the weapon and it does rotate very much like in the film pretty cool, makes the gun even bigger here's the gun in a small form he pulls this off his hip then he adds piece and piece to it turning into this he also has these two single shooters he used these a little bit earlier he also had the end fight holds it here takes it and kind of shoots like a pistol this thing can rotate it can also come out here's a bloodsport figure as is for McFarlane he came with two swords two swords what the hell this guy was a gun expert he had guns all over his suit plan B plan C plan D contingency plan weapons flamethrowers explosives but Warner Brothers has no gun mandate. It really sucks for these DC figures. Marvel, Spawn, all this other stuff continues to have guns with their figures, except for anything that Warner Brothers controls. So we have Bloodsport with two swords, but now we finally have some appropriate accessories for him. Here's Bloodsport holding his pistol type weapons, pointing right at you. And I believe in the film, he'd pull the handle off his chest armor, and then it would turn into these pistols. He had so many little weapons hidden all over him. Now these front pieces, they rotate so you can have it sort of either way you wanted. I believe in the film, they were turned to the side though. And just another angle of Bloodsport holding his two single shooters. Now McFarlane had his figures come with gripping hands with trigger fingers. They were originally supposed to come with guns, but Warner Brothers yanked that away. And while we're looking at this thing up close, you can see Paint job's not perfect. A little bit of blue with the bottom of the copper there. And so those lines, not quite perfect. But considering this is a third party hand painted thing, I am extremely pleased with what I'm looking at. Here's Bloodsport holding his nanotech gun, or at least the first piece of it. Fits in his hand perfect. This thing looks great. And I believe in the film, he'd pull this thing off the side here. I believe that little circular thing there was the beginning of his nanotech gun. In the film, he pulled out the nanotech gun, then he added piece by piece by piece, making this giant rifle. Here's the second part of the nanotech gun. And then, with the last piece attached to the front, a little spinny piece from the film, and it actually does rotate. Here's another angle of Bloodsport holding his nanotech gun. He's supporting it with his left hand, and his right hand is holding the trigger. I'll tell you, this puts the figure on a whole nother level. These accessories are probably even painted better than the figures. The figures have that sort of new look to them, but in the film, his armor was weathered. The orange was not nearly as bright. Same time, don't forget, these are mass-produced toys that cost $20, $25. What do you expect? Here's Bloodsport on one knee, aiming his nanotech gun. So that's what you get for Bloodsport. You get two different versions of the nanotech gun and two of his pistols. Now, I'm not trying to bash this guy because this thing broke. It's really not his fault. Simply just things like this happen. And I'll tell you, these accessories are so nice. If I go back in time, I still would have bought them. It was a clean break, not affecting the end result at all. The detail, the paint job are pretty nice, and this thing even has an action feature. Here's what you get for Peacemaker. You've got the belt with the holster. Another item will attach to the belt, where his silencer will go. The silencer, and the Desert Eagle, with the elongated barrel. These are some accessories that I imagine McFarlane would have liked to have included, but were not allowed to. Finally, the figure will be complete. Probably the most desired accessory, this Desert Eagle here. Pretty nice sculpting detail on the handle. Here's Peacemaker with the weapons he originally came with. The regular Peacemaker came with a sword, and the unmasked version came with his axe. Now you've got two gripping hands with trigger fingers to hold his bladed weapons. Come on, Warner Brothers, this no gun mandate is madness. You are not preventing violence at all by taking guns away from adult collectible figures. Come on! 
Here's the Peacemaker figure as is. He has a belt on, but no holster. And now this holster here. I was wondering how we're going to attach it. I was wondering if I'm going to heat with the figure and pull his torso apart. But it simply unclips the back. Very bendable. Very nicely done. Then, with the belt attached, fits perfect, covers up his sculpted belt. This is the proper way to put it on. I looked at some pictures from the movie first. Now the holster for his Desert Eagle. It can rotate up and down. And the other side, a little gap, where you're going to fit his silencer holder. And here's the silencer holder added to the belt. Not sure if it's supposed to be removable or if my just broken shipping. Either way, it stays on there pretty good. Looks good. Now you can take the actual silencer and you can simply just sort of pop that thing in there. And you know what? I'm honestly kind of confused. This thing that holds a silencer, there's no bottom to it, so it's just going to fall right through. Don't really understand how that's supposed to work. Another cool thing that I didn't realize or I'd forgotten about, he's got two extra clips in here, three holders for clips. One of them's empty, presumably that's in his Desert Eagle. Then he has these other two, and they actually come out. Very, very cool. So not only do you get the belt, the silencer, the Desert Eagle, but you get two removable clips. Very cool. Not sure why it didn't come with three for the three different holders. And I'm definitely perplexed how this thing is supposed to work if it doesn't have a bottom. You saw the silencer sort of just slide right through. And before we move on to his Desert Eagle, I did want to say that I saw him post that the belt was discontinued. He said there was way too much trouble with making the piece, and it just wasn't cost effective. So if you didn't get in its initial run, it's a done deal now. Here's Peacemaker holding his Desert Eagle. Now this figure definitely should have come with this weapon originally, and I'm pretty sure he was supposed to. This is like his signature weapon in the film, that elongated barrel. It looks really nice, and it really upgrades the figure. Now let's add the silencer. He actually gives it different display options. I mean, these aren't just accessories. There's so much more. Accessories with their own accessories. Very cool. Make me feel like it was kind of worth the money. Here's Peacemaker holding the pistol above his head. And here he is, holstering his pistol. Do you want to point out, his pistol has a nice, metallic, shiny finish to it. And I didn't even notice this before, but his gun has a little dove on the handle. Just like his axe that came with the unmasked version has a couple dugs cut out of it. That's sort of Peacemaker's logo. The dove, just like on his chest. Overall, these are some very nice additions to my Bloodsport armory. And also, some very nice additions to my Peacemaker armory. Here are the two figures holding their signature weapons. Very pleased to have proper accessories for these guys. It really elevates figures. I personally like the figures the way they were released. Yes, they definitely need the gun accessories. But I've went from liking the figures to loving them. Give these guys a custom paint job or wash, and they would be on point. And yes, these accessories work just fine with the unmasked versions of Peacemaker and Bloodsport as well. Here's a look at McFarlane's Suicide Squad. They all have character-specific accessories. Now I've got to go out and get me a custom rat catcher too. I don't think McFarlane's going to ever make one. And you need her to represent the end of the film. Overall, these accessories are absolutely fantastic. The sculpting job is just top-notch. Paint job, it's good, but it's not great. Now the quality, the quality is also great. I was very disappointed that the nanotech gun came broken. But like I said before, it was a clean break. They were two separate pieces. I assume he 3D printed them separately and then attached them together himself. So honestly, the end product is exactly the same as it would have been. Now looking at Peacemaker's belt, I was been very careful taking it on and off of him. I can already see some serious stress marks where the peg is, where his silencer holder goes. I don't think that thing's going to last very long. So far so good though. If I were to rate these weapons, it's a tough choice here. I think I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 
The weapons themselves are fantastic and they take these figures to a whole nother level, but there are some quality issues. I do get the third party custom made, but still $70 and to have some issues, that's pretty disappointing. I am not trying to shit on this guy. I really like what he did. I would buy these again. I'd buy some future stuff from him, but it'd be nice if I didn't have some of the issues that I'm having. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure accessories and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.